connection of electric appliances. In the household wiring, all the electric appliances are connected in parallel. It may be a common sense to you, but why is important? Because when they are connected in parallel, all of it can be work in the rate of voltage, and also the switch can be on and off independently. And what's more, if one apparatus or appliance is burnt out, the other can still work. So you can see on the left hand side, it is the case. The items can be switched on and off independently, and if one burns out, it won't affect the other. However, if they are connected in series, what will happen? You can see that because in series, they will share the voltage according to their resistance. So each of them will not able to get 220 volt in this case. Both of them will get lower than 220 volt. The other cases, because they are connected in series, so if the switch is open, both of them will be get off. The other thing is called a circuit breaker. Actually, the circuit breaker is just a kind of fuse, but it is designed so that we can switch it on and off. When the current is too high, then it will be off. But we can just switch it again, then it can be connected again. So it is more convenient than fuse. But the function is actually just same as fuse. Let's see the following examples. Can you able to connect the items properly? Now in the diagram, we can show that there is one wire labeled with life L, and the other one is earth there, so it is earth wire. So the rest will be the neutral wire. If you still remember, the live wire should connect it with the fuse, and it should connect it to the right hand side of the socket. And then the left hand side of the socket should connect it to the neutral wire. And the top should be the earth wire. So that the socket should be connected in this way. Now, the next item is the light bulb. The switch should connect it to the live wire. And how about the two light bulb? How should they be connected? As we have said, they should be connected in parallel rather than in series. So I would suggest you can connect one light bulb first and then connect the other light bulb so that they can become parallel easily. And then the last one for the electric kettle, the wire first pass through the fuse and the switch, and then the heating element inside the kettle and complete the circuit with the neutral wire. How about the earth wire? Yes, the earth wire should connect it to the metal case of the kettle. Suppose the live wire accidentally touched the metal case, what will happen to the kettle? We should note that it is a dangerous situation because if the live wire touch the metal case of the kettle, then the case will be have a higher potential. However, in this situation, because the other side is connected to the earth wire, so that a short circuit will occur, because the earth wire side have a zero potential and the live wire have a high potential, with the whole path a very low resistance. So the high current will appear, short circuit occur. That's why the fuse will blow due to the large current, and the kettle will stop working. How about part C? 
if the neutral wire touch the metal case? What do you think? Do you think whether the kettle can still work? Now, if the neutral wire is touch on the metal case, what does it mean? It means its potential will be same as the earth wire, which is zero. But do you still remember the neutral wire originally is also at zero potential? So even it touch on the case, it touch is connected with the earth wire, the current can still flow through it. That means the kettle can still work. This is a very important concept when we study the domestic electricity. This is a very typical example that you should know it very clearly.